Hey guys, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. And in this video, we are going to learn how to get column names in a data table. Okay, for example, let's create a small table in Excel file. So I'm going to say ID, name, and location. We'll create a very simple uh, table. And here, let's give it a name. Let's say 100. Uh, name, let's say Rakesh. And then location, let's say Bangalore. Okay, I have created a simple table. Let me save it in the Excel file. Now, here the objective is to find the column names. It could be a, as big as bigger table, doesn't matter, but your fundamental would remain the same, right? So, how to get that? Let's see. Now, the very first thing I would let you know click on the projects tab on UAPA Studio and then click on the project settings. Now, here there are two different designs comes with the latest. UiPath one is the modern design experience by default if you are using the latest UiPath studio you would find by default the modern design is enabled so for this example switch off the modern design and when you turn it off that means when it is no if you click on it it will become yes okay so you have to reload I will not reload at the moment keep it to no keep it to no and click on okay it will reload to the classic design okay so once you are in the classic design then this is the Thing, uh, because I am doing it in the classic design, we can also do it in the modern design, which could be another video. But in this video, I will be using the classic design. Okay, once this is clear, once this is set, the next thing what I am going to do, first thing we have to read the Excel file. So let me first use the Excel application scope. And then I am going to point out to the specific file. So I have saved it within documents. This is the file and then once the file has been located the next thing what i want to do is i want to use a read range activity so the, all these activities are classic design activities in the modern design activity they will appear different so i'm using the classic design activity so for that i told you to ensure you go to the project settings and turn off the modern design experience okay so once i read this what i want i would like to create a data table create variable and I'm going to name it as dt1 hit on enter okay so our variable is created sheet 1 is sheet 1 so there's no different name so if it is a different name you can change it you can give your own name whatever there in the excel file and then I'm putting a double quote double quote means it is going to read the entire range doesn't matter where the data is it's going to read everything okay from the sheet 1 so once it reads it's going to store the data in where it is going to store the data in dt1 okay this is done after that let's use a assign activity drag and drop the assign activity now in the assign activity what i will do what is my objective my objective is to find the column name so i'll create a variable and give it a name called column names okay i've given a variable name called column names and here this expression is important this is the key point of the video what i will do i'll use the data table name which is dt1 dot then you'll there is a property called column name if you simply type columns there's a property called columns okay so this property using this property we can fetch all the column names of a data table very simple i'm going to click on okay now immediately after you do this there is an error so reading this error is very very important in UiPath Studio. Okay, reading this error. So read this error. Cannot assign from type system data dot data column collection. So what is the data type? Data column collection. The last word you should read to type system dot string. So this variable which you have created, this is a this becomes a system. This is a string variable. So from the string variable, what should I do? I should convert that to data column collection. Okay. So let's do that. Go to the variable panel, highlight any activity, go to the variable panel. And then here you need to go for browse for types and simply type data column. Okay. If you type few words, you would find data column collection. Click on OK done now soon after you clicked on this the error should vanish now here our objective is to find or fetch those names right now to fetch the names i will use a for each loop let's drag and drop this activity 
now inside the for each loop what i'll be using this variable column names which has all the column names now remember this is also very important while setting the type argument what many people will do they will select system dot data dot data column collection so by doing this this is a error there will be a problem because when you say data col uh, column collection now you are not passing collection to this variable item this is also a variable so you are not passing collections you are passing one one column to it right from the collection is a set of all the column names so you are passing one one column from that collection so that's why what you should do you should always click on browse for types and simply type data columns okay then you should so you should not select data column collection rather from the collection you are passing one one data column right so you should select data column what you are passing to the item that you should be selecting in the type argument okay so once this is done what is the next thing i should do i'll use a message box just to see if the all the columns are coming one by one or not right so here what i will do i'll simply say item and i am expecting all the column names to print one by one right so let's execute this okay wait for a second i'll minimize this excel file so what is the first name it should come id so is it matching with our data of course right id then name then location should come if you click on okay the loop will continue to run and it is fetching one one item from the collection name and the next one location okay so that way it is quite easy to fetch the column names so what is the key point to learn from this video the key point is this one the key point is dt1 data table name dot columns this is the property one should use to fetch the column names after that there could be more of you know when it come to real time project there could be more of conditions you know in this column in that column so you can put a if condition if item is equals to id if item is equal to name right all these con conditions can be all that logics can be built so this is the learning point data table name dot columns so thank you guys for watching it once again we are going to meet in our next video till then take care bye bye